So in this video, uh, I'm gonna show you how I've built my cold tub uh, for less than $1,000 and it's safe. Um, so first things first, we have a, we've got this massive 100 gallon Rubbermaid tub. We've got a pump. And we're gonna see what this looks like. Oh, and we've got a filter. So we're gonna put this filter on there too. So it's gonna run from, the water will run from the tub. We're gonna drill two holes. Let's see where we, when we circled, I'm gonna drill two holes. Uh, and then we're gonna have these guys that sit there. And then it's gonna run from the tub into the filter, into the pump, and then through the chiller. So we're gonna get to work on this thing and uh, see how it goes. It's my first time ever building one, so I guess uh, we'll find out. I didn't have the exact size uh, bit that I needed, so I drilled a hole with this one first, and then I'm gonna just round it out with this, make it bigger. Also don't recommend doing this inside. It's much messier than I expected. This is just getting crazy. It's everywhere. Little tiny pieces just everywhere. All right, so now we have our drain pieces ready. Not drain, but pump. Pump pieces ready. The pieces that'll pump the water um, from the. So we got one here. We have another one right over on this side. I've got to get this mess cleaned up. And then it'll just be basically putting it all together and seeing if it works. All right, now that the mess is cleaned up, I bought these threaded union fittings, which you can find um, much cheaper at Tractor Supply. You can find them pretty much anywhere, but Tractor Supply is where I found they had the cheapest or most uh, feasible ones. Um, so those are going to go, I'm going to put those in right now. Then I have these little half inch fittings, which I'll show you. That go inside there and the tube connects here. So I'm choosing to put my rubber gasket on the inside. I'll come right out this hole. Once I put this rubber gasket in there nice and tight. And then just basically hand tight, as tight as you can get it with your hands. be these little half inch and the reason I got half inch is because my tube is half inch um, so these little half inch things are right in here for my tubes now I am gonna put some uh, Teflon tape on here this is just so that it seals real good like two good wraps on it Just so you don't risk any leaks. All right, next is gonna be the filter. So water's gonna come out here. It's gonna go into the filter, into the pump, through the chiller, and back into the tub here. Well, ideally that's what it's gonna do. I guess we'll see. So 
I'm trying to do now is get the trying to get this to to go over top of this. Got it. All right. So now I can lock this on here. Honestly, I don't even know if the filter needs to go first or if the pump needs to go first, but I guess I'm gonna find out shortly. Now I need to figure out how to hook the filter to the pump. This is my filter. Really hectic up here. fit in there. So what I think I need to do is I bought tube. I think I need to replace this line with a line that I have. And then I gotta cut off this extra piece of hose because it's synced or cinched on there so hard. So then what I can do is I can use my hose that I bought, put this thing back on there. This hose is a little bigger, so on this end of it, I'll have to make sure and clamp it down real good. But on the other end of it, it'll fit a little better. All right, pump is ready. Filter's ready. We're gonna go ahead and move this operation outside. All right, so this is where we're at. We got the tub out here. Okay. We have our two. This is out, so water comes out here. Flows through the filter, maybe. We'll see if that works right. Through the pump, the pump's pulling the water out, and the water's gonna push out into the chiller. So next we gotta pop these things off here, put our chiller heads on, uh, finish wiring it up, and then see if it works. Water's gonna come in on this side, get chilled, push out here, back into the tub. After messing with it with, for a little bit, I decided to put the pump before the filter. And then the chiller after the filter, obviously. Uh, it took about three to five minutes to get water to come all the way through the chiller, but now I have water that's pushing out on both sides. So this is the in. This one's going in here. You can see it's getting sucked in there. It's got some air bubbles in there, though. I'm not sure if it's a problem. And this one's coming out, and you can see it's all water now. It was full of air. Um, down here at the bottom, you have a little bit of air in there. You can see a little air pocket right here. I don't know why. I can't figure out why. I do have to go get some more of those grips though, because there are those clamps that is leaking a little bit out of there. Um, but yeah, so. Water's flowing nicely into the filter. Water's flowing real nice through the pump at this point. I've got a decent amount of water in the tub. My concern is having the pump before the filter because now the pump's just gonna hit with everything that's in there. I'm gonna be treating the water with hydrogen peroxide um, to keep it clean free of bacteria but yeah so we'll see I'm gonna give it an hour uh, I set it on 55 for the first dip so as you can see here 
it says it's 77 right now. I have it set to 55. Um, and it's just going to go until it hits 55 degrees pretty much. Kind of a mess. I'm going to clean this up. All right, so I had to upgrade the chilling unit to a half horsepower. Um, I also went ahead and moved it inside because I was, have a hard, was having a hard time fighting the outdoor temperature and the water will stay cleaner until I get this all straightened out. But I also had to upgrade the pump. So the pump is uh, now pumping 1,200 gallons of water per hour. And this is what it looks like. So right now it's been running for about eight hours. And we're at 52 degrees. Got a couple leaks you gotta fix. But this is it, so we're gonna hop in, see what it feels like. Here we go. <laughs> Two degrees. <laughs> yeah.